1979, a good year for Mrs Thatcher, not so much for anyone else. And where there's despair, maybe bring hope. But if we can't lay our hands on any hope, we'll bring you some more despair. Hope you're happy with that substitution. 1979 was full of people getting things wrong. Dr Hook got it wrong when, as this alarming clip shows, they tried to create Bez nine years early, but ended up giving him a cowboy hat and an eye patch. Then there was Joan Collins in The Bitch, which, as is obvious here, aimed for sophisticated glamour, but ended up with bad acting and lots of terrible moustaches. You bastard. 1979 was really good at being incredibly sexist, like in this advert for the Ford Cortina, whose treatment of its female passenger doesn't make me want to buy a car so much as apologise for the existence of all men. She only knows it's a really smooth, sophisticated ride. She doesn't know that the bulkhead has been specially soundproofed and that the wiper motor and blower have been banished to the engine compartment. She only knows it's easier to hear the nice things he says in the new Cortina. Even James Bond started getting it wrong in Moonraker, crossing the thin line that separates cheeky innuendo from actual filth with this extraordinarily dirty joke. My God, what's Bond doing? I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. That was 1979, a year of non-stop wrongness and definitely my most embarrassing year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was quite an embarrassing year. I mean, I, I don't feel personally responsible for any of no. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's amazing, that clip from the Ford Cortina. Incredible. Especially that idea of, like, she won't know that the bulkhead <laughs> is in... The... Well, I didn't know that. Who knows that? <laughs> is it more sexist than you remember? Well, I think you, it is true that when you're growing up or whatever in those times and you're just a kid, then you don't understand that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then you look back on it and you think, wow, we are soaked in ideology, aren't we, when we don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Just think this is all right. Yeah, that was completely... Can I just say, accepted. side note, that Bond joke, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the re-entry. It, it, it wasn't a bad line, dude. Right. <laughs> In 2001, Harry Potter meant Daniel Radcliffe got rich. And a hacking coffer meant Major Charles Ingram didn't. He just won one million! That polo shirt, that's his biggest mistake if you ask me. It was the kind of big mistake Shaggy was apologising for in one of the year's biggest hits. Top of the Pops cut out a word in this edgy performance. Real edgy. <laughs> So we don't know what they were doing on the bathroom floor. Mopping, maybe? But 2001 was full of big mistakes. It was a big mistake for David Blaine to go on GMTV and take part in the most uncomfortable interview ever. Hey, what is it? Are you a stuntman? What are you? How would you describe yourself? I'm just a showman. Yeah? Look at his face! Yeah. Oh, he's intense. He's certainly got the look of fear for live TV. Either that, or perhaps he just doesn't like Eamon Holmes. I'll tell you what, it was a big mistake to think Bob the Builder should do a cover of Mambo Number no. 5. Good effort, but I'm not sure the lyrics are an accurate step-by-step -step guide to digging a hole, though. Jump up and down and move it all around. Mix it up to the sound, dig a hole in the ground. Talk about encouraging kids everywhere to come up with ridiculous phrases. This next deposit in our cultural bank is Howard, the singing Halifax employee. Yeah. And as this orally challenging ad shows, he was better with banknotes than high notes. I'll give you something extra when you walk through my door. No, but seriously, has anybody seen Howard since the credit crunch hit? I'm wondering if he caused it. And that, guys, was 2001. Definitely my most embarrassing year. Oh, you can't put Howard as embarrassing. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> How old were you getting you to be in early teens? Um, yeah, I was 13, around 13, 14 in yeah. 2001, yeah. I think everybody was expecting that. You remember that millennium bug? 2000, we're all going to die, computers, is going to well, turn... Well, yeah, I mean, I was a lot older. I didn't expect to die, but you, so you did, didn't you? I remember it, yeah. I can't remember... Um, I remember it was just... There was a lot of talk about all computers shutting down. So you weren't and, into and Harry Potter? I'm not into Harry Potter, mate. I'm is into that, this... Is that this... embarrassing that Harry Potter was the biggest grosser? <laughs> uh, um, I remember, like, at school, um, girls would have his picture all over their books and stuff. He was like, no, it was like a number one pin up this lot. This little kid, he was about like twelve. So if yeah, you weren't, if you weren't watching, reading that and watching that, what what were you into then? Well, I was into uh, <laughs> the streets, Harry Potter, which was the So Solid crew. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, seriously, uh, they were basically Blazing Squad sort of ripped them off. 
Blazing Squad yeah, were a little definitely. bit more, they came across a bit more appealing, whereas So Solid Crew, their first song, sort of 21 seconds, there's about 30 people and they're sort of like yelling in what looks like a prison. Well, at least 30 people, yeah. Uh, at least 30 people in what looked like a prison. And I swear to God, it was like the first time somebody heard the Beatles. There were I was so like, many of them, that's right. I was, like, they were like yeah, a, it was a small like, town. And they all dressed alike. <laughs> it was Lisa so Mantia cool. and Harvey. Of yeah. course, Harvey, yeah. yeah. Asha D, Cash. One last question as, a, as an old person. Shaggy, <laughs> cool or embarrassing? Um, that song, embarrassing, but right. Shaggy, like my family, they love old school Shaggy. <laughs> but it wasn't me, just became such a trend and a bit of a joke that people, yeah, uh, like, cool. that song's a joke, but Shaggy, now Shaggy's a legend. <laughs> Brr, Shaggy. In 2004, Dame Kelly Holmes won gold. George Bush won a second term. And England didn't win the Euros, despite this supporter's pre-match verdict to Portuguese TV. I think uh, our defence is very good in... From midfield forward, we're excellent, so I don't think you've got much of a chance, really. Wasn't such a good idea going on camera to say that. But 2004 was a year of bad ideas. Bad ideas for TV shows, like Dermot O'Leary's yawn spawning show Shattered. Oh, doesn't he look young there? Over the next week, 10 people are going to go without sleep. Nobody knows whether this can be done. Of course it can be done. It's called having kids. Also a bad idea was the new men's magazine Nuts, as we can see in this ill-judged advert. Women, don't expect any help on a Thursday. Or men, don't expect to get a girlfriend ever again if they find out you read nuts with its big letters and scantily clad girls. You've got to say Facebook was a smart idea. Although Mark Zuckerberg doesn't seem sure here in this news interview. How big do you think your product or your service is? Well, it's impossible to tell. Ah, bless him, he's only 12. And that stripy shirt is giving me a headache. But let's not forget the sound of 2004. Peter Andre's Insania. Everything about this was a bad idea. The leather jacket, the gelled hair, the non-existent word. This is I think any Insania is too much, Peter. And that was 2004. Definitely my most embarrassing year. The embarrassing year, 2004. How, how old were you? Sort of the, around... 2004, I was 16. Yeah, I was going to say, I was about 15. Yeah, yeah. 16. What it's else do you remember from that time? It was a horrible Peter time Andre. for hair. <laughs> horrible time for horrible hair. Horrible time for hair. We were terrible at makeup then. These young people nowadays, they have YouTube tutorials and they have palettes yeah. and they have this. I had a foundation which was a stick that you just rubbed on your face and black eyeliner. And I don't know, can you get the picture of me from the beginning again? So basically, it was a terrible era for eyebrows. <laughs> because eyebrows yeah, at that time were a sign of weakness. There's a lot of, lot of plucking going so on. So the there. more. That was big upkeep. That was everyday plucking going on. Yeah. You, got that, I, you got that look where so instantly you look at you and go, it should be eyebrows there. <laughs> yeah. 